hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to uh, use multi-target ar function in euphoria so actually multi-target is a collection of multiple image targets combined into a defined geometric arrangement such as a box so commonly multi-target is used to uh, recognize and uh, augmenting printed box like product packaging for uh, marketing uh, campaigns so uh, it can use toys tech gadgets like that so first you need to uh, create new empty scene so in the previous video i showed how to configure our uh, viewphoria engine with unity engine so you can watch it using uh, this uh, link in the description so first we need to uh, delete this our main camera then right click and you can you must uh, import our uh, ar camera like this so in the ar camera uh, we have our uh, application key in the previous video i uh, showed how to uh, verify our license key and how to configure uh, these settings so then right click again and uh, import our multi-target game object in the multi-target game object uh, you can see in our uh, scene window it will uh, import the default multi-target uh, game object like this so it's basically a six side uh, box like that uh, we can create a custom multi-target box using uh, in platform so then come to uh, developer.viewforia.com then uh, go to target manager you need to create new uh, target database so click this generate database uh, select this type as a device and then you must need to uh, give a database name so i will give test like this then i click generate go inside it and you need to add a uh, new targets then select this multi uh, you need to uh, insert dimensions uh, of your box so i use this as test project so i will give uh, width for one height for one length for one then i will give it a name uh, simple box Now you can see our box uh, like this. Then we need to uh, upload uh, images for this all sides. So I will upload this uh, same image that I use uh, previous video. I use same image for all uh sides Now it's okay now you can download this uh, image database click this download database then select unity editor then click download then i can import this uh, our database to our project now I select this multi-target game object then you can uh, find your 
a database name in this list then select it now you can see your a box like that so but i will use this uh, sample box because uh, viewforia also give the sample box to uh, printable format so i can easy to print it and uh, create this uh, box for our uh, sample project so then i already imported uh, this type of uh, car cars 3d cars then i uh, add this one of car uh, inside my project so this is our augmented uh, game object so the augmented game object must always as a child object of the uh, main uh, multi-target game object so i will uh, reduce the scale like this also i can move move it now that's it uh, your multi-target uh, augmented reality application is ready to build so then go to uh, files and go to build settings then add your uh, scene then go to uh, player settings you need to uh, change some settings inside the player settings go to other settings in the other settings you need to change uh, your uh, scripting backend to IL2CPP then uh, untick this uh, ARMv7 then tick mark this ARM64 so then you need to change uh, minimum API level to Android uh, 8.0 I think 8.0 is okay 8.0 and target API level you can uh, choose any of that now it's okay now you can close this uh, project settings window then we can build it 